Hey, how's it going? Hi, hi, Serena Barefoot Gypsy. Namaste, bowing to you. Um, thank you to all my subscribers, 11, and, um, and all my new subscribers, it's the ones I haven't met yet. Welcome. Thank you for being here. 22. Um, son of a gun. You already know. Why would I even say it? Why am I even going to say it? It was there. And poof, now it's gone. With all my subscribers and hellos and all that. I love you guys, but it really distracts me when I, 44, when I do that. Um, surrendering. 55. Surrendering to self, surrendering to God, surrendering to your journey, to your path, surrendering to all of it. Are we there completely? If say in the back of our head, how could I go out and make money? Do you have a money block? Do you have, you're thinking about things, maybe you're thinking about things all wrong. Sorry, I had a message that came through, I was reading it. Um, are you blocking your own blessings? Or are you trying to make other people's narrative fit into your story. Sometimes we just need to ask ourselves questions to see where we're at and how we think, where we're coming from. Because, you know, we know how other people think and what they're, what they're coming from and, and blah, 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 right? Because it's all around us and people like myself love to give their opinions, you know? And, um, but what is your reality? What is your truth? What do you stand on and stand in, stand for? What matters the most to you in, in, in your part in this whole collective? Let go and let God. I mean, that that's the one thing that everybody says. Let go and let God. Well, that's easier said than done. How do you do that? It's a process. You know, if you're anything like me, in my path, in, in, all, my, in all these years that I've been working on all this, and all these years that I've been working on all of this, <clears throat> before... Earlier in my journey, I was there. I, I do, I release. God, I follow you. I surrender everything. And it didn't happen. I believed it. I wanted it. I meant it. But it didn't happen yet. There's so many other things I had to grow through to get to that. If everything's a facade and an illusion and we are the creators collectively... Maybe we need to start getting a different collective, you know? <laughs> God's got you alone. You don't have that many people around you anymore. Why? You think you're being punished? Sometimes, right? Sometimes you do. Sometimes it's like, why can't I just have a friend? Why doesn't anyone like me? They can't be in your energy. Your energy's different. You're not the same as those people. You don't have anything to talk about. How's the weather? Oh, great. See those Chiefs? Oh, yeah. Yay, football. Let's go worry about football and if our team's going to this, that, or the other thing and there's starving people all, all over the world. We're about to be at war. There's all kinds of crazy shit going on and people are still watching football games and, and still just going, oh, well, let's just live life. Yeah, I'm one of those too. I like to watch TV and shows and all that. What am I really doing? Except talking. But everything's a vibration, is it not? 
So what matters the most to you? What do you focus on? Um, I believe it's the children. How are you going to raise a child to be better than you when you don't even feel like you deserve anything yourself? You show them self-love by what? Buying things and being miserable and talking shit about people and screaming and yelling and just your energy. Children don't have to be in the same room with you to feel everything you feel because they have no veil <clears throat> when they're born, so to speak. That's why they see um, spirits and in, in, in all kinds of things like animals can because they're pure, they're innocent. They haven't been clouded with judgment and all that, excuse me, and all those things, stuff and things that the world will have. You know, we pass along to our children what we know, what's inside of us. Our outer world is a direct reflection of our inner world. You expect out of your children what you can't even do as a freaking adult. You expect to tell a baby no one time and it's going to listen? It doesn't have that kind of cognitive thinking yet. It, I know. We're like babies. We're like babies. We're like babies on our spiritual journey. We've been reborn. We've been torn down. Our flesh, our human, we died to that. And we're being reborn in a world that is nothing but flesh and bone. And that's all that they think from and all they can see from. To maneuver around in this world with these humans from a spiritual higher self aspect can be, I'm hearing, daunting. Just another manacle Monday, man. <laughs> I love you. Peace.